Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing snippet. We will be covering the reprint documents feature within Sage Trend Evolution. Now this feature allows you to reprint a range of customer or supplier documents from one centralized location. Let's see exactly how this process unfolds. Now the ability to reprint documents within the program can be done in a number of different ways. So for example, the, one of the options would be to go to your inventory transactions and open up the document you'd like to reprint. So for example, in this case, an invoice, you would then click on the open button, uh, specify a filter criteria, and you then go use the find options. So in this case, I'm just going to specify a specific customer, use the find, and we then have details on all the invoices or transactions for that customer. It would then be a case of using the reprint option, and I can say reprint the particular document. The other option would be to go to our customer inquiries, and I'd simply go to customer inquiries, transaction inquiries, specify the customer, and from a two-day range, ensure that the transaction tab is selected and click on view, which will then give me details of all the transactions for that customer with the relevant date range. And then simply be case of right click, and then I can go into print document and reprint the document from there. Now, let's move on to the reprint document option. Now, if I were to go to inventory reports, we then have the reprint document features, reprint documents feature available. Once I open up the screen, you'll see that at this particular point, I can reprint documents for customers or suppliers. So in this instance, if I say customers, I can specify document type, and these include invoices, credit notes, and sales orders. I'd simply go specify the range of document types that I like, and I can at this point specify to print unprinted documents only or printed documents only. And I can then specify a transaction date if needed. So I'm going to say unprinted documents. And I'm then, for example, going to specify a transaction date. And at this point, I can specify other filter criteria, for example, references, projects, sales reps, etc. If I then move on, I can now specify a customer range and also include filter options such as groups, um, areas, foreign currency, sales reps, etc. And at this point, I've also got the ability to specify layout options. So I may want to reprint the range of documents using a customized layout, and I'd go and specify the relevant document, click on layout options. And at this point, I can simply use layout options and then specify a specific layout I'd like to use when printing documents for a customer or supplier range. If I go next, at this point, I specified my filter criteria and I'm going to click on the find option. And we then have those particular documents which meet our filter requirements. And now I can simply, for example, unselect all or select the relevant documents I'd like to reprint within this particular screen. Now it's a case of reprint documents. And I'm going to say yes to that. And we then have the relevant range of documents. So if I move across, I've got my first document and the second document, etc. And I've got my range. Now it's simply a case of using the print option and I can then simply go and specify the printer that I want to print the documents to or in actual fact print or use the print to file option if I want to print them to a specific file. And once I close that, I then also have the ability once closing, I can then also, for example, email the documents to the relevant customers if required using a specific layout if needed. Right. So. That really is the ability to reprint documents for customers. If I then go and we then look at the ability to reprint from suppliers, 
very similar setup. So I'm going to use a supplies option. And in this particular instance, I can specify either a goods receipt voucher, a return to supply or purchase order. And if I select all three of them, once again, I can either use a filter, for example, printed or unprinted, specify transaction date, and I can then once again specify a supply range. And also have the ability to specify layout options. Next, and then I can use the find option and specify the relevant information there. And once again, the process would be to reprint the documents and then email them if required. So as you can see, the reprint documents feature allows you to reprint a range of supplier or customers or customer documents from a centralized location with relevant criteria. I do hope you've enjoyed this insert. Thank you for watching. It's over and out for me and goodbye.